Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Left Loading. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at a simple example where you can use just a transform nodes and voxel remesher in inside sorcar uh, nodes uh, to generate uh, like a random uh, geometry. So let's get started. I have sorcar already here, and we can simply create maybe create Suzanne. And of course, if you set preview, it will just create Suzanne head. And <clears throat> I'm gonna try to mix Suzanne with something else. Maybe in this case, we can use just a cube. And let's save this very quickly. Uh, Sorcar transform. So Sorcar has um, a lot of transform nodes. Apply, copy, uh, but the one that I'll be using maybe set transform or transform. So they are kind of different. So if you have objects, you plug the objects there and then set preview. By default, this will allow you to translate in X, Y, or Z. And you can do it in object level or in edit mode that's pretty clear but this node also a lot of have a lot of things like scale for example if we are using the cube and then set preview so now we, we end up with two objects now and we can scale the cube in any way you like so that's really handy it's pretty simple probably the only one uh, the only thing that's missing is the the ability to uh, to transform it in 3d view and to have it update here maybe in the future but for now let's try to join Suzanne and the box together you can use boolean but in this case I will use the voxel remesh in order to voxel remesh however we need to combine the objects together so to combine them probably we need to use uh, merge objects right so this this guy is expecting mesh array so you can have multiple objects and then merge it with the first object let's try this so this seems to be merging the objects together so we only have a single objects now and then plug this into the voxel remesh and set preview now you can see they are merged together because the voxel remesh is really really cool and really powerful actually if you have like a bunch of objects like this kind of overlapping and then if you basically what happened is you merge them together control j and then you uh, we don't have voxel remesh modifier yet but you can you can do it over here remesh and then just voxel remesh or you can do it inside sculpt sculpt mode so this guy also possible what's the sword cars allows you however to do it um, inside as a node so that's really powerful because you can then move Suzanne and have the voxels updating and then you can perhaps export it as alembic um, you can also uh, you, you also have the ability to rotate however uh, i found the rotate is slightly slightly strange the way it works so you can see you cannot do anything with y or the z um, something to keep notes i think these notes need to be improved so by default, of course, transform has a lot of hidden options. And the axis is set default to X. That's why the X is rotating. If you set this to Y, then the X are rotating in Y axis. And the Z, of course. So this Y and Z doesn't have anything to do. Maybe unless you are using quaternion. But quaternion doesn't seem to work. So this still, this node 
can still be improved and also currently if you collapse these nodes you can see only transform would be nice to, to be able to see the like rotate or translate if you use like something like set transform however set transform actually give you the ability to rotate it a little bit um, easier to understand so XYZ however the rotations you can see it's a uh, it's probably in radian it's not in degree so that's also current limitations um, yeah so let's actually try to have another objects let's try torus torus and set transform rotations I'm gonna put this together okay can I plug this like that oh, okay um, yeah that works however we want to have array so we want to make make array so we have this objects and these objects plug this there okay so that's how it works it's pretty easy to understand so yeah transform very basic very easy and voxel remesh if you want to do something a little bit more interesting however you can also use uh, another nodes sketch of nodes for example let's do something random so box i've done this in the past remesh output and then random vector so if you do this be careful you're gonna end up with lots of objects right enable merge however we'll collapse it into a single object so that's a uh, this is pretty cool you have a single objects that you can now plug as a custom object so select our thread drop object put this into the array okay and it should update itself there you go a uh, spread job object can disappear so we have all of them together on top of each other we can actually use matrix input and then just plug this into the rotations and so we have hopefully random objects oh actually it's it okay it's uh, we can't see it and it doesn't seems to be updating unless we actually go here So if I'm not wrong, there is a way to update it, to force update this simply by using the scene info and enable real time. So that Sorkar is always updating. Okay. Okay, Alpha. It doesn't like it if the object is actually invisible, which is uh, kind of funny. So let me increase the number, increase the size of the box, randomize the rotation, update, and oh, actually I know. Uh, maybe we can just uh, hide it inside the collection, uh, but I'm not. But that's the result that we can get very very quickly simply by using this uh, combinations of nodes workflow so maybe we don't need all this Susanna I have a feeling okay with this custom objects it's kind of annoys me maybe we just use a uh, draw mode displayed as wireframe and then we plug these objects there 
and then we update it. Okay, it's updating. Um, oh well, is that? There must be another way to do this. But you will you already learn how to use the transform both in Spreadshop and also Sorcar. So of course what's missing of course our inability to just move this in the 3D scenes and then having having it updated because everything is controlled by the nodes. We don't have any um, visual ability to work in the 3D view anymore. Now uh, that can be tricky, um, but for now it's okay. I'll show you one more trick. Randomize. So I'm randomize. I'm gonna randomize the box, and then for each box, I will randomize. I will have different number based on the count. So. Have a number 20 and then this should be like 20 and this goes into the seed so search is really cool in that for that okay so we can have many objects we can randomize the scale have have it updated on the sort car and the result yep just a clump of mesh but you can you can definitely print it out and you can you can continue working with this sculpted it's actually pretty it's actually really fun uh, to be able to do this turn off symmetry yeah really just uh give this a try it's actually a very interesting workflow Yep, so it's pretty random, but we can export this out as well. All right, so there you go. That's a just a quick um, example on how to work with transform using nodes. Oh, and I didn't show you how to do this using animation nodes, but you can do that as well, slightly different. But for now, Sorcar and Spectrop can work together. Sometimes, however, if Sorcar updated before square job then you might have problem but from my testing viewer b mesh is always um, calculated first before store car so that's this should be okay all right thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye